In this video, we'll introduce the concept of intonation in speech. Speech is not just made up of consonants and vowels. It also comes with distinct melodic and rhythmic patterns called intonation. Understanding the intonation of a language is a crucial step in learning it. In many languages, including Japanese, the same word with different intonational melodies may have different meanings. Listen to the following word and guess its meaning. Ame. Actually, the meaning of this word varies depending on its intonation. In the Tokyo dialect of Japanese, Ame means rain and Ame means candy. Intonational melody also plays an important role at the sentence level. For example, in English, the same sentence with different melodies may be a statement or a question. Compare the sentences, Today is Monday, and Today is Monday? Let's look at the three major properties of intonation, pitch, duration, and intensity, and how languages differ from each other in terms of these properties. The first property is pitch. Pitch in speech is like pitch in music. Speech sounds may be produced at a higher pitch or at a lower pitch. When sounds produced at different pitch levels are put in a sequence, it creates a melody. In languages like Chinese, pitch levels and melodies play a central role in differentiating the meanings of words. In those languages, pitch levels and melodies are usually referred to as tones, such as high tone, low tone, falling tone, and rising tone. Listen to the examples of the four tones of Mandarin. Mao, 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 Mao. Mao, 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 Mao. This word Mao. Mao, 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 Mao. Mao Languages like Japanese, on the other hand, have what is called a pitch accent system. A word in Japanese can have a particular melodic pattern, but the pattern can change if the word is modified. It is similar to stress in English. For example, the word stagnate has stress on the first syllable, but when you add the T-I-O-N ending, it becomes stagnation, with the stress on the second syllable. The pitch patterns of Japanese work in a similar way. When you pronounce tori alone, the pitch pattern is low-high. However, when you combine tori with another word like yaki, the pitch pattern changes to high-high. Tori. Yaki tori. Watch the pitch videos to learn more. The second property is duration. Duration is the length of speech sounds. Speech sounds may be produced with a longer duration or a shorter duration. In languages like Japanese, a change in the duration of sounds may produce a change in meaning. Roughly speaking, in Japanese, one hiragana katakana has one sound. Let's compare obasan and obasan. Obasan has four sounds. Obasan has five sounds. If you mispronounce Obasan in four sounds, it will probably sound similar to Obasan. 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 Kohi. Zashi. You can learn more about this in the duration video. The third property is intensity. Intensity is the relative strength or the relative loudness of speech sounds. In languages like English, some syllables in a word are produced with a greater intensity than others, 
and these syllables with a greater intensity are usually described as stressed. For example, import and import have stress on different syllables. On the other hand, Japanese has a different pattern for stress assignment from English, and it is usually more subtle. So if native English speakers use the same stress pattern as English, it will make their Japanese sound foreign. In Japanese, intensity usually corresponds with pitch and does not play a significant role. In summary, the intonation of a language is characterized by three major properties, pitch, duration, and intensity. In the intonation of Japanese, pitch and duration both play important roles. When studying Japanese, it is useful to pay attention to the intonation of a word so that you can use them better in communication. If you have recordings of Japanese, it will be helpful to listen to them while studying new words. For example, you can use a technique called shadowing, which is very useful in learning pronunciation and intonation. See our shadowing video to learn more.